everybody, it's Mike Newman, and it's Monday morning finish line. It is March 5th. Um, busy weekend in Illinois, but every weekend from here to the end of May is going to be busy. I'm not... It was a good weekend. Um, a lot of things <laughs> went on throughout the state. Um, a lot of things to talk about. So let's get started talking about it. I'm gonna, I don't want to go off on a tangent here, go on the tangent superhighway, but uh, maybe I will. Um, let's start with uh, the first meet that I was at this past weekend on Thursday. Um, the uh, North Central Cardinal Classic at uh, North Central College. A great girls high school meet. Um, there were so many great races. Uh, at NCC last Thursday. Um, one of them watched the um, last lap of the uh, 16, not the 1600 meter run, the 800 meter run with uh, Caitlin Hart and Claire Hill. 142-1. See if Hill tries to make a move on the back stretch. No, his heart's accelerated. This is going to be a close one. It's Hart. It's Hill. And it's going to be Hart. 2.13.9 with a 30 closer. Uh, Claire Hill, 2.14 and change. At the time, it was the number two uh, time in the state. Went to number three. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but the way that she was pushing Caitlin Hart throughout, Caitlin Hart, uh, what, a, what a great meet for Hart within an hour period. 213.9 split, 213.7 split, and then 213.9 in the open half. That's pretty good. But, and then Hart's run 10.14 this year, and uh, 446 uh, for a full mile. She's going to run 1600 this Friday at York. We'll see how fast she goes there. I'd like to see real fast. Um, so, what a great race. And Hill, too, comes back, runs 58-8, anchoring her team's 400-meter relay. So she's been up and coming, but the Naperville North girls, they have been running great early in the season, but just continuing on what they did last fall. Uh, Sarah Schmidt, just... 229, negative split, 229, 227, but just basically keeping the pace the same the entire way, checking her watch every lap, but ran 456.05, fastest 1600 meter time in the state. Um, winning that by nine seconds over um, her teammate Alex Morris and uh, Hannah Ricci. I think there were like seven, eight runners under 508. Just a crazy deep mile there. Um, and there are more videos. You can check out all the races of that meet. Um, we have that linked on ILXCTF.com, courtesy of um, Runner Space Plus. Um, York on Friday. There were some great finishes in the distance races, but let's go to the um, finals of the 55 meter dash. <laughs> Rusty gets off to a great start. It's Rousey. Upset. 6-3 hand time. Kind of a surprise. That there was a hush in the crowd when uh, Cedric Rousey crossed the finish line. And 654 ahead of Declan Rusty, who was 660-661. Rust, uh, this was the same way. Rusty, you know, there were people that were getting their scalp, Rusty scalp a little bit earlier last season indoor track. Rusty is a great hundred meter runner. I wouldn't say a great sixty meter runner. Very, 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 very good. Um, 55, 60 meter run in the short sprints, but that hundred and the two hundred and the four hundred is where he excels. So, yeah, I wouldn't worry, you know. Uh, Rousey came back, won the 200 at the meet. Uh, let's let's just see, uh, let's see how he does in the upcoming weeks when we get outdoors. Um, 
and Rustang, we know what he is going to do when we get outdoors. He ran some great splits in the uh, 4 by 2 also ran a great third leg in the 4 by 4 that took Hoffman Estates from 6th up to 2nd place, and that's where they finished in their relay. Other great races, um, distance races were great, close all the way, very tactical races. Um, Sean McGregor of York out kicking, uh, which Mason, was it Sean or Scott Mason? And uh, Jacob Cluckheim of uh, Wheaton Warnville South, 9.42, eh, time, but they went out in 4.56 the mile, so it was really tactical uh, splits. Mile, uh, I think it was Scott Mason. Pulled away from the field, 427, then three runners came in at 429. So York meet was good. Here again, taped all the races. Uh, from that, go to Runner Space Plus, um, go to ILXCTF.com, and um, you'll see it there. Uh, <clears throat> the Pole Vault Summit. Now, I had somebody message me this morning. Oh, when are you going to get the videos up for the Pole Vault Summit? They'll be up when they're up. Should have gotten dragged your butt. Out to Rolling Meadows Saturday to watch. A pretty good event. Um, on the girls' side, <clears throat> Aaliyah um, Welter of uh, Monticello, cent in central Illinois. Um, she had cleared 12 6 the night before at Southern Illinois down in Carbondale. Travels back to Monticello late Friday night, gets up on Saturday, comes to Chicago, competes in the event. Um, same thing, Zachary Bradford. Um, this weekend was basically to get ready for New Balance. He's going to do great at New Balance next weekend. Um, but cleared 17-4 at uh, Champaign, nine attempts. Came in at 16-6, popped to 16-6 on his first attempt, 17 feet on his first attempt, and then three attempts at 17-4, cleared 17-4 on his third attempt and missed at 17.9. And he it looked like he didn't have any excuses for when he said he cleared 16.6 for the win after everybody was out. Um, but he cleared 16.6 on his second attempt, three attempts at 17. But get, he was getting used to a new pole. He went up to a 17, or 17, 16.1 pole. And so getting used to that pole, he did that at Champagne, did that at Rolling Meadows. Um, you got to credit him for doing the two meets. It prepares you for later on in the year. And there were, you know, talking to the meet organizers before and after at Rolling Meadows, there were people that they invited that were in similar situations as Bradford and as, as Welter was, but they chose not to compete. Now, that's their choice. Uh, but uh, that's going to prepare you for the long run. And, you know, Bradford didn't need to come. He, he was a little bit tired. He was he kind of fell asleep on the uh, floor of the field house waiting for his parents at the you know after the conclusion of the meet on Saturday night. But he made that choice. He's a champion. And champions will do the things to get them to from point B, point A to point B. And so on. Bradford's done that. A double champion at Windy City and Elia Wel Welter. Um, 12 6, she'll go 13. She won 13 1 last year. Um, so Great meet there. Wish you could have been there. We'll have the videos up um, when we're ready. Oh, yeah, and breaking news, John Meyer upped his state record again to 68.6. We're going to be saying that all year. He got it up to 69. He went 71. He went 72. 68.6. Uh, he proved it by two inches at home with Flossmore. Um, he's not going to, uh, as far as I know, he's not going to New Balance, unless he changed his mind at the last minute. Um, but I didn't see him on the last entry sheets that were released by NSAF. Um, Charger Classic, um, so many great races. Danville, number one time, as of now, in the 4 by 8 um, You also had um, uh, Matthias Powell of uh, Muhammad Seymour, ran 426 last week in the 1600, this week on uh, 9 98 the number two time in the state in 3,200 meters behind Zach Kinney. Um, defeated Logan Hall by 15 seconds. So. Uh, Philip Hall ran 157 there. Uh, Marcellus Moore wasn't pushed in that meet. Easily won the 16, the 200 meter dash. Um, Jacksonville, what a great 1600 in the 1A boys race. Uh, Jacob Bryan, Illini West, who ran all those races last year at state, you know, the 4x8, the 800, 1600, 4x4, 
while he runs a 59 second final 400 to defeat uh, Eli Tenyak of uh, uh, Pittsfield, who ran 419 last year at stake at second, and was finished ahead of Brian, and then Wyatt McIntyre, 429 in that race. Tactical race, 59 second final 400. Jeez. Well, the 1A distance is going to be low in track, and you got to take a look at Riley Wells, too. Now, at, you know, at U-High, uh, at Illinois State, on Saturday, ran 426, outdistanced uh, Oswego East Matthew uh, Blanco by a second, 426, 427. You, you throw Wells in there in the half, um, it just makes it makes 1A very interesting to watch this year in distance, like it always will be and always is. Um, Hananega, the girls meet at Rockford Auburn. Dejour Miles just clicks off those wins. Six, uh, she was pushed in three races <coughs> um, by Taylor Tillman of uh, Lakes Community. And Miles won the 60 meter, 200 meter, went under 25 seconds of the 200 meter. Um, two tenths off of her personal or seasonal best that she ran at Kentucky on an oversized track. She ran 24 82, I think it was. Um, at Hananega on Auburn's 200 meter track. Um, and then she won the 400 uh, by about two, three seconds. And then anchored um, West Aurora's 4x4. Four four. West Aurora has a pretty um, decent team this year. They're going to make some noise at state um, in May. And also, you had Madison Marasco. Now, there were two, you know, there, you know, we talked about the performances by Sarah Schmidt and uh, by Caitlin Hart and Claire Hill. Um, Got to talk about the great performance by Madison Marasco, who ran 2.14 and a half, number two time in the state, and won by 10 seconds. She wasn't pushed. And the same thing can be said about Nieva uh, Michelin of Evanston at Proviso West. There was nobody pushing her in the mile. She runs 4.59.1, wins by 33 seconds. Give me a break. Um, number two time in the 1600 in the state for the girls right now. What a great race. Uh, two mile at Proviso West. Um, there were some great sprint events, but Katie Hoey, after running 5.08 on Thursday at North Central, comes back, runs the uh, number two time in the state, 10.57, um, to win the 3,200. Hoey has got some great range. Um, 2.20 and a half. Um, she can, I think she'll run under five minutes this year for 1,600. She runs in a fresh in a race. And um, 3,200, you know, under 11 minutes. So, She's only a junior. Um, what else? I think that's, you know, that's it. Um, go to ilxctf.com. We have a link at the bottom of the page. Um, weekend highlights, we talk about a ton of meets. Not every meet, some of the meets. Um, that's about it. Okay. A um, few things. Uh, so Roger Bannister passed away. On Sunday, and he meant so much to the sport, as we all know. Um, you know, people in the late 40s, early 50s said it was impossible for a human being to run um, under four minutes for the mile. And there's a book that talks about the days before the meet, you know, the months before the meet, and uh, Sir Roger's attempt to do that. Um, And he did that. He, you know, there are some things that you set in your mind that you can't, you know, if you think, if you say, I can't do this, you're not going to do it. Um, Mr. Newton always said, you know, you could be physically fit or subcosa fit, but it's a 2%. You know, from here to here, if you don't believe that you can do it, you're not going to do it. Uh, Sir Roger Bannister thought he could do it, he did it. And look where the times are right now. You know, the world record is 3.43 by Hikam El Garouge. Um, just think about it, just think about it. What can you, what could you do? You know, keeping that positive energy, thinking, you know what, I can do this. I'm going to get straight A's in school this year. I'm going to ace this final in this class. I'm going to do some great things in my community. I don't, I don't think I can do anything in the community. I can't help it. Positive thinking. If you think you can do it, you can do it.
And then we go, if we're talking about all this positive thinking and all the things that Bannister did on the track and off the track, he was a doctor, he served so many people. And, you know, it's not what you do on the track, it's what you do off the track. Um, I don't know if I want to talk about the sectional assignments, holy smokes. You get Plainfield Central, who's five miles from a, a sectional hosted by Plainfield North on the girls' side. And they're going all the way to Rock Island. Are you kidding me? I'm trying to think of that reason. Well, we're, we put the boys in this one block. We'll put the girls in one block. Who's going to host? Oh, Rock Island is. So, I mean, there were, there was some, you know, like Rock Island and Moline have to travel to Plainfield South on the boys' side. That's another issue. But then getting Washington and Peoria... Who could have gone down to, could have gone to um, Belva West, which is the same distance, or they could have sent them to another goofy place. Um, but they, they hopped over some schools that are going to Homewood Flossmore, and they're going to be at Plainfield South. I don't know. I don't know. Write the IHSA. I, on this one, I tried not to figure it out. Um, Let's just leave it at that. A lot of things coming up this weekend. Uh, tonight, get out to the North Central. Um, DGS Mustang Relays. Uh, should be great meet. Um, Girls 800, I'm looking forward to seeing. Uh, Hinsdale Central had three runners under 2.20 um, on Thursday in the open half at North Central. Let's see what they do this weekend. They're, they're going to be the team. They may break that 9.22 uh, meet record. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, other things. Do balance nationals this weekend. Marcellus Moore is going out there. Some other Illinois ad athletes. Zach Bradford, one of the favorites in the pole vault. Um, uh, Welter from Monticello is going to Eastern Illinois. There's another good girls meet. You have the Gauntlet Mile and some great running um, this weekend at Plainfield North at their boys' invitational. Great meet. Check that out. Uh, Plainfield South has another. Um, Boys Invitational, uh, York Girls Invitational on Friday night, um, Caitlin Hart um, running a 1600, that should be fun to watch. Batavia Distance Madness should be fantastic on Friday night. Good 3200 meters, uh, Sarah Schmidt of Neighborville North, Abby Lopez who has the fastest time so far in the 3200. Let's see what kind of times they run. 1040s, 1030s, that would be interesting to watch. And then I think uh, Rachel Hickey, Will Sal Peru in the 800, Boys Side Riley Wells in the 800, um, uh, Charles Harders of Lyons Township in the 800. Um, there's going to be some great races, so check it out at Batavia this weekend on Friday night. Uh, boy, so many other meets. Also, um, coaches, uh, athletes, tell your coaches, get your um, charts in for sub-5, sub-6. We'll be putting those out towards the end of the week. I'll send you a reminder in the email. It's been kind of busy. A lot of things going on. Another big weekend coming up in the state of Illinois. There's going to be hashtag big weekend too. I don't know. So, rest up. Got some fun times ahead in the next couple of months. So, for until the next time that we talk, this is uh, Mike Newman from Monday Morning Finish Line. We'll see you soon. Bye.